Hello, friends. It's Dr. Mary Gardner, and I wanted to jump online real fast to just let you know about a couple of tools that, um, that I've been working on that may help those of you who are uh, struggling with a geriatric dog. And I created um, three books recently that were published in the last uh, two weeks. And I just wanted to share the reason why and how it can help and the, how they can help you. So the, the reason why is that after going into thousands of homes, I could see the struggles that either the dog or the family are having. And I know that there is so much that we can do to help you way before we ever have to say goodbye. And I myself have had a number of geriatric dogs that have, um, have taught me so much, everything from how to manage their incontinence, their mobility issues, their cognitive dysfunction, and things like that. So uh, it's been three years in the making, uh, and I published this book, which is called It's Never Long Enough. Here, I will show you the whole thing. So it's called It's Lever Never Long Enough, A Practical Guide to Caring for Your Geriatric Dog. There is nothing better to me than an old, stinky, wobbly dog with gray eyes and just still the heart of gold. And this book has four sections in it. The first section talks about aging and, you know, why is it that larger dogs don't have as long of a lifespan as smaller dogs? And is there anything we could do to keep them living longer? Um, there is, just so you know. <laughs> the uh, middle section is about all the main ailments that dogs struggle with. So not necessarily focusing on specific diseases like diabetes or Cushing's, but really all the ailments. Because if you have a dog that's got arthritis or a, a back problem or whatever it may be, they still have mobility issues. So I talk about uh, all the different ways that we can manage them in the, in the home, home hacks, product recommendation, resources, uh, and things to ask your veterinarian. Because if we can, if we can care for our dogs, you know, sooner rather than later, we will actually get them living better and longer. So uh, there's so much content in that middle section, which again, over you know 11 years I've learned uh, from, from helping families and also dealing with my own geriatric dogs. Uh, then the, the last uh, two sections focus on goals of care, on caregiver burden and what you guys are going through and ways to help relieve that a little bit. Um, also uh, things like health and nutrition or sort of nutrition rather. And then uh, also quality of life assessment. That's the number one question I get is, how will I know is time? And there's a whole chapter dedicated to that. Uh, and also when it does come time to say goodbye, what are your options and, and what to, to think about? Because I think we all want a really good goodbye. I mean, we never want to say goodbye. It's never long enough. <laughs> but when the time does come, what should we think about? And what are your options? Also, what are your options in, in, in cremation? and then ways to memorialize your pet because we know that they've left a big mark in your heart uh, and in your souls, right? So uh, the book is kind of big. It's 500 pages. There's, it's colored. It's, uh, has, I have a ton of pictures in there. Um, that was my own girl, Sam. Uh, just really, I wanted you guys to, you know, when you grab it, just feel like it's got some great content and tips and tricks. I've got QR codes that link you to other um, templates that you could use as you're managing your own dog <laughs> and uh, just just so much so uh, there's over 250 pictures in here again product recommendations i make no money off of products so i just wanted to make sure that you've got all your options because there's a ton out there and you might have analysis paralysis when you're looking at all of them so the, these uh, so so this book is uh, the the main the main the main character in the series, if you will. And then I also have a journal. And so this is the Geriatric Dog Health and Care Journal, and it has a ton of uh, uh, like a questionnaire to uh, and and ways to track some of the symptoms that your pet is going through, the medications that you might be giving. That's two two times a day medication, five or six times a day medication. My dog, Duncan, he needed meds every four hours, and it was hard to track that respiratory rate, things like that. And it's beautifully illustrated by a wonderful, a wonderful man, uh, uh, Dusan. And then I've got a treatment tracker, like I said, medication, goals of care, and why, you know, why you want to create a goals of care, bucket lists and favorite things, dog quality of life assessment. There's a lot in here. And... Uh, goals for the caregiver, 
and then also a little counter at the end. So, so there's so much in this that could help you uh, just, you know, kind of have ease the burden of ailing for your aging dog. And then lastly, for those of you who have children, I, and I have another video more specifically about this, don't forget about uh, the activity book. For, uh, for children. And you know one of the purposes of this is to get everybody involved because I think we're so scared sometimes to talk to our children about uh, the upcoming passing of a dog or, or afterwards. And so this book will, will just help bring the whole conversation together with the whole family. So we want, uh, we've got things in here. So this is with Colleen Ellis and I uh, developed this book. And like one of the activities is, hi Renee, one of the activities is that we want the child to go to ask everybody in the family, uh, be act like a reporter and ask, you know, what were your favorite nicknames? What was your favorite activity? What what will you miss the most or or do miss the most? And for them to create a little story about their pet. And then we also encourage them to post all their pictures and, and crafts. There's a ton of craft ideas in here, like what to do with their leash afterwards or their collar rather afterwards, how to create seed paper so you can grow a little garden uh, <clears throat> for them in, in, in their honor. So this is for, for, for the children, like I said. So all three books are available at all the major bookstores. So Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, stuff like that. And also Amazon. So I will, uh, I've popped here my drmarygardner.com uh, forward slash books, if you will, that has, um, that has more information that I go into. And then also I'll pop here in the uh, messages, the uh, link to the Amazon where they're all on. So if you go to Amazon and search for uh, geriatric dog, you can search for my name or go there to the link that I just posted. Um, you might find them. I'm, I'm no special author, so I may not come up at first on the list. So you may have to search a little bit harder, but I really hope that this book is, which is, uh, you know, from my heart and took a lot of, a lot of years and research to create will help you as you go through the journey of caring for, for your geriatric dog. And for those cat lovers out there, do not worry because that is in the works. And the journal and activity book will be done in a few months. And then by the end of the summer, the big book as well. So um, everyone take care. Talk to you later. Bye.